Welcome to Rob Motive. Hey, good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. The channel is Rob Motive, in case you didn't know where you were. Anyway, I'm out here cruising around in the new Tacoma. This is the 2024 Toyota Tacoma. Uh, it is a TRD Sport. And I've got uh, 1,083 miles on it right now. Pretty darn low, but I was away from the truck for about two and a half months. So, eh, take that with a grain of salt. Anyway, out here cruising around, a couple things I wanted to talk about. First of all, I did, uh, I've done a couple mods recently. Um, I put lights in the grill. And so far, the feedback, I'm a little surprised, actually. I've had... Uh, a few comments from folks saying that they don't really care for them, that they don't like them. Now, I know usually when people like things or at least things are okay, they're pretty much silent on it. It's only when there's a negative thing that people make a comment. So I have to take that with a little grain of salt myself and that, yeah, while there are people who are vocal, it's only a two or three or so that say that they don't care for those lights. They'd prefer they weren't there. They don't match the truck. These are the comments I've been getting. Um, that there's a lot of other people that do like them. So I would appreciate it if you've seen the video. If you haven't, check it out. It's on the channel. Look it up. Um, and let me know what you think. There are grill lights that I kind of made myself. I actually did make them myself. It's not the actual light or the material, but the way it's set up and everything. And let me know uh, what you think about it. Either way, positive or negative, I'd be curious to know. I did another mod recently, which uh, I'm really interested to see what the feedback is going to be. I changed the mirror caps, the mirror covers, you know, the caps that are over the, the back part of the side mirrors. I've done this before with other trucks. It's a little bit different on this truck. The passenger side was actually pretty darn difficult to get off. The driver's side popped right off and fell on the floor while I was trying to remove it. So, I don't know. That's the way mods go, I guess. Um, but, I went with black. They were, of course, color matched, supersonic red. I went with black. Um, I guess it has kind of that European flavor. I don't know. It's not really why I do it. I do it because I like it. Um, I think it looks pretty good on the truck. I'm not 100% sold on them yet. Uh, and the good thing is that with mods like this that are really just snap-on, it's what they are, uh, I could put the red ones back on if I want or someday down the road if I go to sell the truck or something. I can either take the black ones off, maybe use them on the next truck, keep them as spares, who knows, or give the uh, the red ones along with the truck so that the next owner can decide what they want. They'd have options. I think that's more valuable. I'm still never going to get what I paid for them uh, out of them, but nonetheless, gives the next owner options if I choose to do that. Uh, again, I would like to know if you've seen that video, and it should be pretty close to this one in the pecking order of videos on the channel. Uh, have a look at it. Watch it. There's some pictures. I may even include a picture uh, at the end. I probably will. And in that, you'll be able to see the grill lights not lit up, but you'll see them. And also uh, the mirror caps themselves. But I'd be curious to know what you guys think of it. Should I have left the red ones on? Does it look tacky? Does it look good? Uh, either way, I'd like to know. Negative comments are welcome too, don't get me wrong. And speaking of negative comments, you know, being in the, the social media world, the YouTuber world, I had a comment uh, recently about, I, and I'm going to try to quote it, but I may not get it exactly right. It's brief. What they said was, I don't know why you even own Tacomas. All you do is complain about them. And then they put a LOL at the end. It's always interesting to me why when people are being negative, they always put a laughing face or an LOL at the end. Is that like uh, some kind of a, a nervous response? Uh, like you would see maybe people do in public. They'll give a little giggle when they say something not nice. I don't know, but this person did that. So anyway, they said, I don't know why you even buy Tacomas because all you do is complain about them. And... I think when people say that, they're not really understanding what I'm doing, right? I mean, I love the Toyota Tacoma. I've had numerous Tacomas in my my car buying life. So saying that I, I don't like them, or implying I don't like them, I guess, and that all I do is complain about them, 
I think is a, a bit of a mistake. You see, what I'm doing is I'm giving my experience with them. And no truck is perfect. And I guess if it was, all I'd do is have one video on the channel and it would simply say, the 2024 Toyota Tacoma is perfect. The end. Would last about three or four seconds, that would be it, right? But nothing is perfect. So I like to give my experiences with the truck uh, for you guys and really for myself. I mean, as I experience things with the truck, I'm gonna tell you guys if there's something that I don't like. It might help somebody out in the future. It might be something that's important uh, to somebody out there and it might even influence their buying decision. You know, hey, I don't want the truck because, I don't know, it, uh, you can't change the front grille easily. Not like with the third gen or every time you get in and out, your rear end pushes down on the seat lowering mechanism if you have a manual seat like I do. And the seat lowers. I mean, that might be enough for somebody, I don't know. And that certainly does happen in this truck because of the way they place the lever to raise and lower the seat. So I'm just giving my experiences. I don't know why someone would consider that to be complaining, talking about something and giving both the positive and negative attributes. I guess I'm reverse complaining when I say something good about the truck, right? And I have said plenty of good things about this truck. I love the truck, I think it's awesome. It is definitely a step up from what the third gen was. And again, and I like to say this frequently, I guess, I'm not dogging the third gen. The third gen is an awesome truck. I mean, I had, I don't know, seven of them. So there must be something that I liked about it, right? But the fourth gen is just a step forward. It is a, it's really a different truck. I mean, it's not the same truck. So I don't even know if it's fair to compare the two, really. It'd be like comparing, a, I don't know, a, a, an F-150 to a, a Ford Ranger or a, a Tundra to the Tacoma. They're different trucks. They're going to do different things, right? So it's really not fair to do that anyway, in my opinion. But nonetheless... These are my experiences with the truck. If you want to call it complaining versus just stating the facts, I guess it's complaining. I don't know. I just thought it was pretty funny. And I did ask the person, by the way, and I'm awaiting a response right now. I don't know if they've responded yet or not at the time the video's gone out. But I'm curious to know if they even have a Toyota Tacoma or are they just giving their infinite wisdom based on zero experience? I find that happens a lot, particularly uh, with people that say this truck is no good, it's not going to last. We don't know if it's going to last. It's only 2024. It has hardly even been out. We don't know that yet. I wish I had their crystal ball, though, because if I did, I would look and see which videos would get a million views every time, and I'd only make videos about that. Anyway, I just wanted to get on, uh, talk about my constant complaining, I guess. Uh, and let you know uh, the most recent mods I've put on and to ask for your opinion. Also, I'd ask, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't before. I'd really appreciate it. There's tons of mods on this channel, both for the third gen and the fourth gen, as well as my experiences with them, how the trucks have done, and lots of other information. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.